you're not going to believe all the barite popping out of this lamp right check it out that's all barite pouring out of the lamp right now that's a barite vein i just hit look at that just crumble out of there and they are loaded with barite welcome back to another video everybody good to see you all back at the channel if you're new to my channel welcome i hope you like what you see and you decide to subscribe i'm at the crater diamond state park in this video we're going to be digging in barite i found a vein several years ago and i finally found the outcropping again it's amazing how much barite is in this gravel and the diamonds get trapped in the barite since barite is one of the heaviest minerals out here it's a really good indicator when you're seeing the barite Let's get down in the east drain and see what we can get. Okay, well, I had this wagon now for maybe two trips to the Crater Diamond, and it's already broke. You see right here, this part right here, you can see that, how it just moves. It's not supposed to do that. I wish they could make something strong and last. So I'm, I'm down in the east drain right now, and I'm already starting to see barite, large chunks of it. And I'm just following this trail right here. Whoa, look at this huge chunk of barite. Whoa, oh my God. That's probably the biggest piece of barite I've ever found. That would have been found on my breakdown classifier, which would be the half inch wire mesh. So that would, is a really cool find right there. Holy smokes. So what I'm gonna do is dig up all around this area where I'm finding barite. It's just pouring out of right here. There's tons of it up in there. See all the little specks of blue? That's barite. It's all up through here. Tons of it. So I'm gonna scoop all of this up that I can and you're gonna see some amazing centers. See what kind of barite we can get out of it. Oh, gravel. See, I believe I only have a uh, Right now all my buckets are full of material from a hole I dug. I've got two, four, six, eight buckets to wash today. And you're gonna see some amazing centers. You're not gonna believe all the barite popping out of this lamp right. Check it out. That's all barite pouring out of the lamp right. Now that's a barite vein I just hit. Look at that just crumble out of there. Just solid barite in the lamp right. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get eight buckets filled up because this barite vein hasn't seemed to let up at all. It's still pouring out. The deeper I go, it seems like I'm getting more. So I'm gonna just keep cleaning around in this uh, little pocket I made. See if I can't find any more barite in the lamp right. Working on the last two buckets. And the barite, as you can see, it's just a solid line that I've now exposed and it's just pouring out of this solid blue barite. It's one of the heaviest minerals you can find out here. We could definitely have some diamonds in this stuff. See all the blue inside here? loaded with barite okay i got all the buckets up here to wash 
I just dumped one onto the screen and look at all the barite just sitting there. There's a huge piece right there, really blue. Wow. Oh, look at this one. Man. Definitely will be giving some of this barite away, so be sure to leave a comment. Okay, bucket number two, top screen. Let's see. Oh, right off the bat, nice piece of agate. Oh, here's some barite starting to show up. Look at all that. Just wow, not really huge chunks. Now, here's a huge chunk. Remember, all this I'm going to give away. That I'll be giving away most of this barite. Three different winners. Look at all that. Unbelievable. Got a piece of agate. Got a piece of agate and a nice chunk of barite. Bottom screen is loaded with barite. It's so crazy. It's just piled up over here. All right, bucket number three, again, loaded with barite. There's a nice piece for the giveaway. Another huge, wow, that's got some purple to it. That may be some amethyst. That's got purple. That's gonna be going in the giveaway. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, just loaded with more barite. Unbelievable. Here's a good piece for a giveaway. Several huge pieces in the third bucket. Some huge pieces to add to the giveaway. Nice. All right. Some of this is purple. So there could be some amethyst mixed in with this. From screen, once again, loaded. It'll probably start to thin out first couple buckets. I know it was mainly just gravel and mud. Oh, all right, here's bucket number four, top screen. Let's take a look. Oh, yep, once again, we are seeing lots and lots of barite to give away. There's a couple more big chunks under the giveaways. Wow, look at all that. A huge chunk we'll add to the giveaway. Wow. It's just every bucket. Several more. So just in this bucket alone, we have several huge pieces to give away. Bucket number five. Yep, loaded. Not like the other buckets, but we are seeing some Big pieces to add to the giveaway. The piece has some purple to it, just like this one right here. Okay. Still seeing the bear, right? Just not like we were. But these next buckets could have more. Three to go. Okay, I'm on bucket number six. So it looks like the bear, right? Is still showing up, but I don't see any pieces to add to the giveaway. It's starting to thin out. Yep. There we go. We'll add that big chunk right there to the giveaways. Oh, here we go. Look at that huge piece. Oh, yeah. We'll add that one. So that's about all I see. Got one more. Oh, got two more buckets to wash. May see some good barite in this one, but it's starting to thin out. Yeah. Okay, here's bucket number six, bottom screen. You can see all of the barite in my scooper, just loaded. So this has been really cool. Every bucket has 
all that bear right so it's gonna be amazing getting all this centered up seeing if we have a diamond definitely gonna have to go through the tray to get the diamond on this stuff there's just so many heavies it'll keep the diamond from being exposed when you do your center and flip I think it's raw. Yeah. All right, bucket number seven. I think so. Oh, lots of barite yeah. loaded with it. Okay. Got a couple yeah. pieces to throw in the giveaway pile. I don't know what it is, but you can ask Check those it. out. Got a couple more we'll add to the giveaway. Yeah, every bucket we've seen lots of barite. That's one of the best heavy minerals out here. All right, we got one more bucket. It'll be time to make centers. See if we got any diamonds. Here's bucket number seven, bottom classifier. I've got a little bit in my scooper. And you can just see all the heavies just packed in there. So every bucket's looking good. One more to go. What'd you say? Okay, here is the last bucket, number eight. Let's take a look and check out the barite. Starting to see a little bit pop up. Ooh, some really, starting to see some really dark blue pieces. That's really cool right there. Ooh, here's a chunk. That's almost got some purple. I'll add that one to the giveaway and any other large pieces I see, which, oh, here's a really large thin piece, so I'll add that one to the giveaway. Every bucket had really nice pieces of barite. Wow. Okay, here is the bottom classifier of the last bucket. Still seeing them show up, but it definitely thinned out. So I can't wait to get all this centered up. Start going through it on the tray because I definitely won't see the diamond just sitting on top of this stuff. There's just too many heavies. All right, I'm here with Joshua Bartley. He's got a YouTube channel. He's been uh, shouting me out and he's here at the Crater of Diamonds. We're gonna see if we can't get him and his son Bray a diamond here in the East Drain. Come all across the country just to see Jason. <laughs> yeah, he traveled many miles, or yeah. should we say uh, flown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, <laughs> time, first time he drove. Yeah. So we're gonna dig in this popular spot, see if we can't get, get a couple diamonds for him to take home. I'll be adding a link to Joshua Bartley's channel in the description below, so go click on it, show some support. All right, I got two buckets filled up for Joshua and Bray to wash. We're going to let them wash these buckets and let them learn how to make centers with the Saruka. This is that same inside bend where I found two diamonds back to back in the same day. They both were 42 points. So maybe today we'll get lucky and find some diamonds right here. Yeah. Okay, we got five buckets. We're gonna let Joshua and Bray work. Let them get some centers to take home and let them use the Saruka, get them some centers. Hopefully, get a diamond. Okay, so we've washed the buckets we've gathered and didn't see anything on the centers. And Joshua and Bray had some material that we have uh, centered up. There's their bucket of material they got yesterday out of the East Drain. And I believe right there at the end of my spoon is a diamond. Right there. We're going to scoop that up. Go have them get it looked at by the park inspectors. Okay, so here's Bray with his di diamond. What size was it? It was 11 point. 11 point. I was way off. I said 20. <laughs> cool. Out of what, how many buckets? One um, bucket? Half a yeah. bucket of material. They got a diamond. 
cool. If you come here and you do the same thing, you'll get a diamond. All right, here's Josh with the picture oh. and the card you get when you find a diamond at the Crater of Diamonds. You even get a hat, apparently. 11 point. A hat? I never got a hat. Yeah, look where he's got a hat on. Hey, I've never got a hat. I should have 41 hats. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right. Put a little bit of material. You can see there's large chunks. If I throw that stuff off. I don't have my breakdown classifier, which is a half inch wire mesh that really helps remove all these larger pieces and would allow just smaller pieces to fall through but you can see all the barite just loaded you want to put about the same amount as you would with your other smaller concentrated material it's got to be able to move and bounce and center up out of the eight buckets i got these three centers made and they are loaded with barite. Unbelievable. If there's a diamond in this stuff, more than likely it will not be just sitting here on top because this barite is so much heavier than a diamond. It's a really heavy mineral and the diamond's gonna be more or less buried. I mean, I'm still in it. That's at least an inch and a half thick of barite. If there is a diamond, if there is a diamond in these centers, I'm probably gonna find it on the tray. I mean, as you can see, this stuff is packed. Right there would be my diamond, is down in here, underneath all this barite. There's the gravel and what we're used to seeing is underneath all this stuff wow i gotta look at every single rock to make sure this might take me a while so collecting the centers and putting it in the gold pan and right there we're used to seeing these nails that nail came from way below so my diamond is gonna be by that nail, like I said, underneath all this barite. It's loaded. Had to go through each rock one by one. What am I doing to myself? Got most of it scooped up into the gold pan. And I took some of the gravel as well. You can see right here, all the gravel starting to appear that we normally see. So this right here is going to be a lot of fun. All right, got the last one put in the pan. And out of those three centers, we almost have this whole pan full of heavy minerals, mainly barite. That's just crazy. So if there is a diamond, I'll find it on the tray. If there is a diamond in this, I will definitely find it on the tray or pizza pan, however you like to spread your gravel out and look through it. But now I'm gonna recenter all of these and get the rest of the heavies out and start searching for my diamonds. There's the reflip of the two incredible that's still a lot of heavies a lot of barite and i still got to collect all of this and get it every bit that's it for another video here at the crater of diamonds we got to meet up with joshua barley and his son they drove all the way from virginia to team up with me he's been giving my channel shout outs so if you're not subscribed to joshua be sure and go check out his channel and show some support they were able to get a diamond in just a bucket, maybe a half a bucket of material, which is really amazing. But we also got to see amazing centers with all that barite. Don't forget to leave a comment and I'm gonna have three giveaways and each person is gonna win several chunks of barite. So be sure and leave a comment. 34 buckets I got out of the hole. There's the shoe and a horseshoe. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now is making room in my cage 
I normally use sheets of plywood, but I don't have any on this trip. So I went to the local lumber yard and they hooked me up with some boards for free. This will help make room for my next 20 buckets I'm about to go get. That'll give me about 50 buckets to wash.